everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. <laughs> Come on down. Um, I hope everyone's having a fantastic day, good week, good evening, weekday, whatever you got going on. Um, today we are doing a little bit of a project. Um, if you watched my very first vlog that I did, it's um, ep called Vlog Episode 1. Um, so go take a look if you want... Um, some more info on what we're doing here, um, but essentially, or kind of the prep for it, essentially I want to do a painted border around this canvas. Um, I was inspired by Christiane Hare. Um, she did a video relatively recently talking about um, how she frames, frames her diamond paintings just by painting the border and then hanging them up like that. And I've been looking for an affordable way to hang up some of the kits that I don't necessarily want to spend the money to do a full frame. Maybe like for instance here Astrid by Micah Jelena. This is something that I just finished for an event and it's not something that's like oh my gosh everyone must see this I must display this but I do want to put it up in my office. I have nothing hanging on the walls here so I'd like to start putting my finishes up here as well as hopefully in the new office, um, so um, at work. But um, until then, I want to do something like, you know, to give it a little bit more of a finished look, but not necessarily invest in like a full framing setup. So I know people have a bajillion different ways that they, um, that they tend to do this or like to do this. Um, there's kind of like stick on frames. You can do like the tension bars on the back, which is what I'll probably do with some of my nicer kits or not nicer, but kits that I'm more interested in and predominantly hanging. But this is literally gonna go up just right here and I'm gonna kind of do some a collage of some of my finishes. So this is kind of a trial run. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to walk you through the process and see how it works for me. Um, I'll link uh, Christiane's video in the description box. That way you can go see, um, you know, the the OG <laughs> um, uh, for this. And don't mind me, um, you are sky high up in the air right now so we can see the whole canvas. So you're gonna see my hair and my head and all that stuff. And my hair's a little wacky today because I'm gonna go get it cut this afternoon. Um, so I haven't done really much to it, but we're gonna start by peeling off our washi tape um, ba -ba -ba. Just from around the canvas um, Make sure that That's all nice and cleared out of the way so we can paint ba -ba. It's kind of like crazy to see like I don't know if my arms just get sticky over like while I'm diamond painting or sweaty or what the deal is but like you can see like a, a line on the canvas from where the tape was protecting it and then the rest of the canvas is like ever so slightly dingy and I'm like am I that much of a pig pen that like my arms and stuff like dirty the canvas but I think it's just from like my um if I'm wearing like a long sleeve shirt or if I had lotion on or if there was some adhesive um on the canvas kind of remnants because there is some stickiness so maybe I was just dragging that around on my arms I don't know but it's one of the reasons why I want to like figure out some kind of frame situation to cover a lot of that up um I really like this scotch washi tape wait we just had a tear there but uh, I've worked with a couple washi tapes and they just tear constantly so I'm having to like get my tweezers out and like pick at the excess washi tape but yeah this side doesn't have any dinginess it must have just been from me dragging this smut this uh um there's some adhesive on the canvas i mentioned it in the kitting up but okay so we've got all of our washi tape removed and so i have here the craft smart this is from uh michael's craft smart satin acrylic paint this is in black um Christiane did hers in black too. I saw some other colors. I was just curious to see if those other colors would um, would mask the labeling and the legend. Um, so I went with black just to play it safe. And then I went with this um, Zen Royal and Lan Langnickel <laughs> um, paintbrush for no other reason than it was on sale and I loved how big it was. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know anything about like styles of paintbrushes. It did say acrylic, so that was one of the reasons why I went with that as well. 
So we're gonna do this, you know, pretty straightforward, I'm thinking. So hopefully you can see that in the camera. But I went ahead, yep, you can. Got a little bit of paint there. I'm gonna get try to get as close to the edge as possible without running the brush, the bristles against the drills, because I don't wanna accidentally push paint onto the canvas. It'll be fine pretty much everywhere, except for when we have these light colors here and here, maybe here. Um, where the paint could push up into the drills. Everywhere else is pretty much um, 310 black and um, 937, I think. Is that what we were, what we were working with? Um, 939, I'm so sorry, 939, like that super deep blue. So I don't think you'll notice it much anywhere else other than the areas where it's lighter. So I'm just gonna be a little bit, of, uh, bit, little bit cautious. The other thing that I have done is I've laid down um, canvas or, or a painter's um, tarp, I forget what it's called, um, but I picked this up on Amazon because this is my craft table and I didn't want to get paint all over it. Um, you could have done newspaper or something more affordable, but um, I figured I'm, oh, it's a drop cloth, a drop cloth. I figured I'll just have this, that way anytime I do finish a canvas I can just unfold it and lay it out. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to probably just speed through this and stop you anytime I... Um, Anytime I run into an issue or have a comment on the process, I'll stop you. Otherwise, we're just gonna do fast forward mode. So let's get going. Okay, so coat one is done, and obviously, as you can tell, this is going to need multiple coats to um, to work out. Um, Apollo's looking like he's getting anxious. He's got to go take a um, go take a bath today, or he's going to uh, the the dog wash today. I'm getting my hair. Everyone's getting their hair done. <laughs> um, so um, before he gets a little too ornery, I will just say that um, you do have to be pretty careful around your areas where there are lighter colors. I just had to really take my time through there, um, which means I got a much lighter coat. So that might even take up to three coats. Um, it did an okay job of covering the, um, you know, the initial coverage of it isn't too bad, but um, yeah, it's gonna need at least another coat. So I'm gonna go um, run some errands, take Apollo to um, the dog bath, let this completely set up, and then when I come back, I will do another coat. So I'll be back with you um, here in a little bit. All right, bye, 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 bye. Okay, sorry, I'm balancing on my office chair to get you all lined up. Um, so it's been actually a few hours. I went and took Apollo to the um, park and then we actually went to the dog wash and got his nails trimmed. Um, his first time going to a groomer and he did really well. So um, I was very happy for him, but um, now he is home and he's a little excitable right now. So we may have to pause at some point, but anyway, so the first um, coat is dried. And as you can tell, you know, there's a lot more, um, it's, you know, pretty uneven still a little bit transparent so we're gonna go in with the second coat um i think it looks i think it'll come together with enough coats it's just you know weighing the amount of time it takes to do all this versus either just because i was also thinking uh, i could just cut the um i'm gonna go ahead and get started here and then i'll um i'll speed you up um as we really get going oh that second coat's doing a pretty good job that looks good um I could just cut the excess off, um, maybe with, I'm thinking like, even with a pair of scissors, like good crafting scissors or one of those like Fiskars kind of cutting wheels, um, and just cut the, um, cut off the excess canvas and just hang it like that. But, um, well now that I'm seeing the second coat, because at first I was like, oh, this is going to... I could see this taking like three or four coats. The second coat looks pretty good. The other thing I was doing the first time around 
I was um, being really haphazard around the darker drills, which I still am, just because they, <laughs> it's hard to tell on those black and super dark blue if they have a little bit of paint on them. So I'll still be careful with the, um, you know, around the colors that are lighter. But if you decide to do this, I would probably suggest having a little bit more of a gentle hand. I'm just kind of going to town. Oh, wow. Okay, that looks much better with the second coat. Okay. All right, Christian. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, speed you up. That way you don't have to watch this entire thing. But I'm just going to go through and give this a good second coat. Let that dry up and then um, take a look. If it requires a third, we'll do a third. But this is looking... This is looking pretty solid. I'm happy with that. Even if there is still a little bit poking through here and there, um, like I said, I'm not, this isn't something like a, a cherished piece for me, at least personally. So I don't mind it being a little imperfect. This was just kind of proof of concept really, like does this work and if so, how well? So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. I'm gonna um, speed this up, bye. Okay, second coat done and it's coming together. There's a few spots that were just really light for the first coat, so the second coat just still didn't quite do it. So along this line here, so we're gonna have to go in with a third on some spots, but for the most part, this looks pretty good. Um, I did get a little sloppy down. Where did it go? Here. I hit three of those drills with just a little bit of paint, so they're like a quarter of the way covered but I wiped it away. It's so not noticeable unless you get really close. So I think even if you do make a couple oopsies, it'll be okay. Um, you might need to maybe even have just a, a small damp cloth with you or something, or something maybe with just a little bit of rubbing alcohol or something like that. That way, if you do make an, an oopsie there, you can clean it up in the moment. Otherwise, I just did my best to follow the lines and I was less careful around the darker areas, but this actually looks really good. I'm kind of shocked that it, it comes together so well. So we're gonna let this dry. I'm gonna actually time this, or give it an hour. I, I decided I'm gonna give it an hour because before I didn't really time it, I just left for the day. So I'm gonna give it an hour, see what it looks like, and then you know keep giving it maybe increments of 15 or 30 minutes um, until it's fully dry. That way I can give you kind of a rough estimate of how long this project would take you if you decided to tackle it yourself um, to see if it's if there's some value in it for you to do this process. Definitely, if you are not the cleanest of um, painters, um, get yourself a drop cloth or a piece of plastic or some newspaper or something underneath because you can see I really, I've made a mess. So um, I've just, especially on the outside edges, the scalloped edges, I've just been like, <laughs> So um, yeah, let's go ahead and let this set up. We'll come back in about an hour or so, do the final touch-ups, um, and then I'll let it set one more time, and then we'll talk about the finish, and I'll try to, if I have time tonight or tomorrow, I'll include it in the video, but I'll go ahead and hang this. I'm gonna hang it with just some command strips on the wall, and this will actually be my first hung diamond painting in my own home. I've done some at the office at work, but this will be the first time I put one up in the craft room. So I'm super excited. Astrid is kind of the inaugural um, painting that I've completed, completed, like framed and everything. So let's go ahead and let this set up. I'll see you here in a little bit. Bye. Okay, so it's been about 30 minutes and of course I'm impatient. So I came through and just a little touch test and it seems like it's pretty much dry. There was one little blob of excess there that I just um, smoothed down. 
but because I'm just doing touch up on some of the edges, I just made sure the areas that I want to touch up are dry. So it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and um, come in and just do my final touch ups here. Um, but yeah, the coverage looks really nice. Um, I'm sure that with better paints, you might have less coats to do. Um, but this was just the most affordable one because, like I said, this was just kind of a proof of concept. So I'm just going to go over those areas that just were still looking a little light. Really just kind of touching things up more than anything else. Um, I suppose I could do a full third coat, but I really don't think it's necessary. I think this is looking better than, to be honest, better than I thought it would. Um, um, it looked fine. Uh, when, like I said, I, I'm inspired slash copying directly from Christiane, um, with permission, mind you. <laughs> but um, um, it looked really good when she did it. But, you know, sometimes the camera can make things, you know, look a little bit more smooth and clean. So I was just like, eh, I think this is something that I'm going to need to see with my own two, two eyes to um, to make sure that it's like, you know, it ends up turning out halfway decent. And I'm kind of shocked by like how crisp it makes everything look. It really helps to outline the canvas. I think what I would probably do personally is I this black, and it might look different when I hang it up, but this black doesn't look quite as vivid black, the paint as like the drill, so it almost looks a little bit blue it is kind of the hue that it's giving off. So I might try to find something that's a little bit more jet black if I can find it. Um, the other thing I would probably do, although it might take extra layers or extra coats, is pick a color that maybe accentuates a different part of the canvas. Like I was, I was sitting here thinking like, oh, it'd be so cool to have like a light purple Border, but I don't know if that color would sufficiently cover up the legend and the um, the logos and stuff. So um, I think black might be, or just a dark color might be required for this um, just because of all the stuff you're trying to paint over. But I think this did a pretty good job as far as coverage. Um, I probably could have gone more heavy handed with my first coat um, to really get that that to mask um, everything, but I think this is fine. Um, so with the about half hour that it took um, between, let's see, I guess I'll have to let this dry, see how long, I'm gonna give this half an hour, see how long it takes for this coat to dry, and then I'll do kind of a wrap up for you guys. My hair is a nightmare, I'm so sorry. I meant to go do it today, but then I was like, eh, let's do Apollo's instead, and I kind of want to get home, so that's going to be a tomorrow project. And I just realized as I was sitting at the computer, I was like running my hands through my hair, so I'm sure it's like just a big poof ball right now. But um, let's get this little section here. It's kind of hard to see um, certain parts that are light or that are... Um, that don't have good coverage with the ring light because the reflection kind of throws it off a little bit. So I'm kind of going, having to take a step back, look at it, and then come back in and touch it up. But that looks pretty good. I mean, I essentially did a whole nother coat. <laughs> um, okay, I am going to call it. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and let this dry. I'm gonna give it about 30 minutes, and then we'll come back, do a little test to see, uh, make sure it's not tacky. Uh, I'm gonna get that little bit too. Um, and then we will hang it and we'll take a look and see what it looks like all hung up. All right, we'll be back shortly. Bye. Hey everyone. All right. So we are all done. I did that third coat. Um, it looks really nice. There's still a couple of spots that maybe I could go through and touch up just slightly more, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's looking pretty good as is. So I'm not going to fuss with it anymore. Um, total... Total working time, I'd say, is probably about two hours, I'd say, um, not including the breaks I took in between. Um, so I think for two hours of work, um, you know, with those pauses of, you know, letting it sit for a half an hour or so between coats, I think that it's, you know, well worth um, doing. I would probably pay a little bit more attention to the style of paint and the quality of paint. 
I wish it had a little bit more of a jet black, like a really deep black. Um, it's pretty black, but um, it's uh, the the drills make it almost have a kind of a bluish hue when you look at it. So, um, but I like that the scalloped edges kind of give it a finished look, and I think this is nice. And this is my very first um, diamond painting that I've hung up. So, there it is, um, Astrid by Micah Jelena from Diamond Art Club. And then I'm thinking on this wall here, this big wall, I'm gonna do my galaxy painting, which I believe is a 60 by 120. Um, so I might do that here, or I might do a collage of a few different paintings. And then over here, I've got this wall that I wanna do one on, then that one, and then this one as well. So I'm thinking I'd probably get about between four and six more kits up before I need to start figuring something else out. But um, well, yes, that's an empty wall. But there you go. Um, that was my little, this is how we do it on framing. Oh, you can see me in the reflection. Hi. Um, this is my, this is how we do it based on the instruction from Christiane. Thank you so much, Christiane, for the great suggestion and idea. And it, it pretty much worked flawlessly for me. So um, look forward to seeing you all in the next video and happy placing. Bye, 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 bye.